Hello everyone, my name is Roger Stromkowski and I'm a Solutions Engineer at SnapLogic. Today I want to talk to you about parsing a CSV file from an SFTP source into a MongoDB destination. In this video, we'll take a look at the pipeline design, we'll take a look at the sample data, we'll verify that the collection exists in Mongo and that it's empty before we transmit the data, and then we're going to run that pipeline and then we'll verify with a count inside of Mongo that the data was entered. This is the pipeline we'll be using for this demonstration. I already have my SFTP location set up here with my file name and my account here for with my credentials. Uh, nothing else in this snap was changed. We have our CSV parser snap, which is all default settings here. And then we have our MongoDB insert snap. Now in this case, I've already set up my account, so let me go here and talk about that quick. So I'm doing a local instance on my ECT node. I've got the default port. I've added my jar file. Now, one of the main things I want to talk about here is this database name field. This is actually the database where the user name exists and is not necessarily the database where the data will go. All right, so after that, I do have my username and password, and then we have our authentication type. Everything else here is default except for some connection settings, which I reduced for testing purposes. Back on the settings tab, once the account is there and can connect successfully, we can use the suggest field options to actually go and talk to the Mongo instance and find out what databases my username has access to. So in this case, I've selected MyDB. And then after that, I can do the same thing for the collection name. So we're going to use this customer collection. Now let me go ahead. Since this was already set, I'm just going to discard and close. And I'm going to validate this, but just before we do that, let me pull up my Mongo instance here in my terminal session. And I just want to run this count one more time so you can see that there are currently no records inside of this collection. Okay. Now let's come back here and we are going to validate this pipeline. Now this is a small data set. There's only 10 records that should move in. So validation is fine as long as I've changed this to validate and execute. Since this is a right snap, I mean, we know that by the purple color, uh, if this was normal, if this was default, it would only run during execution. So we can see here that the data was pulled in. This allows me to take a look at what that data looks like. Okay, and this is just some sample, some sample JSON generator data. And we can see after Mongo, we can take a look and we can verify that uh, the records were entered successfully. And then I did pass the original through. So if you needed to verify anything else downstream, you could, such as comparing a failure and then resubmitting the record. Now, if we go back into Mongo and we run this count again, we see that we have our 10 records inside of Mongo. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.